saying this is my childhood, her childhood, our kids' childhood. This is everything we've owned our whole life. And it's just gone and it's everywhere. Two Bullinger families uh, are reeling from the loss of five loved ones on this property during Wednesday morning's devastating tornado. Tonight they talk to us exclusively about the love that brought them all together and the legacy they leave behind. Good evening everyone. The most heartbreaking detail to come out of Bollinger County is the fact that all five people killed had been together inside the same Glen Allen home. Tonight we're hearing exclusively from their families. Nikki Clark reports. Her whole world is gone. They was all right here. Tara Shipley stands on the spot where she grew up. Her family home is gone. Just the porch remains. Wednesday morning's tornado left Shipley mourning the loss of four family members. She took the time to tell me about each one of them, beginning with her sister's only daughter. I loved any animal she can see. She would pick up a strange dog and bring it home in an instant. 16-year-old Destiny Koenig livened up the family with her fun-loving personality and goofy Snapchat images like this one. And Shipley tells me her niece had a special relationship with mom, Amanda. They had a bond. They was best friends. They wasn't mom and daughter. They was mom daughter best friends. Like they was inseparable. That same kind of bond existed between Destiny and her grandma, 57-year-old Susan Sullivan. Shipley knew her as Aunt Susan and calls her a go-to person for advice or really anything she needed. She was always there for me when I needed her the most. She was an amazing person, and anything I needed, she would try to get. Anything my sister needed, she would try to get. She was an amazing mom to my sister. Susan's husband, 62-year-old Glenn Burks, considered all the kids in the family his whole world. Known in the family as Papa, Burks also had a soft spot in his heart for destiny. He loved, loved my niece. That was his baby. If you needed him, he was there. He's just a sweet person. He was an amazing person. Shipley also lost her cousin, 37-year-old Jimmy Skaggs. She remembers his love for the Golden Girls and his many hobbies. He loved wrestling. He loved collecting Pokemon cards. Anything you could think of like that, he was collecting. The fifth person lost on this property, 18-year-old Michael McCoy. I got the chance to speak to Michael's mom by phone. Stormy Mayberry describes her son as the best big brother in the world, a young man with a quick wit who never skipped a daily phone call with his mom. Michael's aunt, Tracy Glick, says family meant the world to him. He loved his mom a big time. <laughs> he was very close to his mom. Both families say they appreciate all the love and support they've received. Tara Shipley tells me it's going to take a long, long time to grieve. Because not only do we have to process that, we have to, we have to process the loss of this too. Like I lost everything. I lost my whole world. In Glen Allen, Nikki Clark, Heartland News. And one request from Michael McCoy's mom at has, uh, uh, she's asking people to keep an eye out for her son's boots. This is a look at them. She says he wore them to walk her down the aisle and they were lost during the tornado. They're orange and brown and say just a good old boy on them. And if you find them, you can call this number 573-707-2505. We'll have this number listed on our website as well.